Hey there, learner of Latvian. It's me, Ilze B, the Latvian language teacher. And today I'm going to tell you about a resource that Latvian students, student parents and teachers use and that I think you might benefit from too. It's the Latvian portal uzdevumi.lv and in this video I'll show you how to use it and how to potentially benefit from it. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. All right, this is what you need to do. Go to www.uzdevumi.lv and then you need to go here where it says Registrēties. Registrēties means get registered or registration. So let's click here. And now you need to choose your role. Izvēlies savu lomu means choose your role. The first role that is offered is a student. Asmu skolāns means I am a student. The second role that is offered is you are a parent. Asmu vecāks means I am a parent. And the third role is asmu skolotājs, which means I am a teacher. But you probably have a different role, so there is an option for that too. Here. Cita loma means another role or the other role. Let's click on that. And this is a page that opens after that. And here we have dzimums. Dzimums means sex or gender. Vīrietis means a man. Sieviete means a woman. I'll click this one because I'm a woman. And now we have the roles all enlisted here. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll just suggest the role to pick and that is viesis. Viesis means a guest. What they also want to know is whether you are younger than 13 years old or you are at least 13 years old and we will click this one and then this is what shows up. Here you need to type in your email address and here you need to pick a password. This field is for your name and this field is for your surname. This sentence Vēlos lai mans profils būtu publisks means I want my profile to be public. This sentence over here saņemt informatīvus ēpastus par jaunumiem un svarīgām izmaiņām portālā means receive informative emails about what's new and about important changes within the portal. And finally, this sentence piekrītu portāla lietošanas noteikumiem un privātuma politikai means that you agree with the terms of use and privacy policy of the portal. So you can pick whether or not to check the first one and the second one, but you definitely need to check the third one and agree with the terms of use and the privacy policy. Do it like this and then you are ready to go and click Get Registered. Registrēties. Next is the page where they confirm the registration and ask you to check your email. This is what you get in the email and you need to click the blue button to complete the registration. Once you are within the portal, this is how it will look. I'd like you to go to this page, Virtuālā skola, virtual school. Let's do that and this is what opens. Priekšmeti means subjects. Priekšmeti. Here we see the Latvian flag. You might want to pick Latviešu valoda, Latvian language, Latviešu valoda. Let's do that. This big button is where to find exercises for preschool kids. This is for first to second grade, this is for the third grade, this is for the fourth grade and so on. I'll quickly go through the items here. Vārdu krājuma paplašināšana means expansion of vocabulary. Rakstīt prasmes attīstība means that you will have a chance to work on your writing skills. 
lasīt prasmes attīstība means that you will have a chance to work on your reading skills. Laiks, pulkstenis, means time and a clock. Mīklas skaitām panti might be something very interesting. Those are riddles and rhymes. Let's click on this one. Tautas dziesmas means folk songs. Mīklas par dabas parādībām means that there will be riddles about natural phenomena. Let's click on this one. Here they say izlasi mīklu. Izlasi mīklu means read the riddle. I'll read it. Skrien līku loču, rūgdams spērdams. I think this might be quite challenging for the beginner learners of Latvian, but you can still practice reading. In this box, you have the two possible answers. Sauliets pie jūras means sunset by the sea. Zibens un pērkons means lightning and thunder. I think it might be zibens and pērkons. Let's click this one. And let's submit the answer. Tada! We've got it right. Apsveicam means congratulations. Vis pareizi. Everything's correct. Let's go back to the virtual school. Let's go back to the Latvian language, Latviešu valoda. Let's pick vārdu krājuma paplašināšana, which means expansion of vocabulary. This is for the parents, but we want the exercises. And I'll pick something that I haven't done yet, because I tried this out and I did some exercises about fruits and berries. Augļi un ogas means fruits and berries. Let's pick dārzeņi, which means vegetables. And here is the task. Izpēti attēlus un atzīmē pareizo atbildi. It means study the pictures and mark the correct answer. And the possible two answers for the first picture is tie ir zirņi and or tas ir kālis. I know that tie ir zirņi, so I'll click this one. And here the possible two answers are tas ir kāposts or tas ir baklažāns. And again, the first answer is correct, so I'll click this one and I'll submit the answer. Ta-da! I've got it right. Let's go back to the virtual school again. Now let's pick the math, matemātika. Let's go to the first grade again. What I suggest that you pick is teksta uzdevumi, where you'll be able to practice your reading comprehension and improve your reading comprehension skills. Let's go to the exercises again. I'll pick the third one. Let's read the word problem. Pagalmā ir pavisam deviņi bērni. No viņiem trīs ir zēni. Cik ir meiteņu? You have to type in the correct number here, but in order to be able to do so, you need to understand the text. So, pagalmā ir pavisam deviņi bērni means there are nine children altogether in the yard. No viņiem Trīs ir zēni means three of them are boys. And the question, cik ir meiteņu, means how many girls are there. So what we need to do, of course, is we subtract three from nine and type in six. And our answer would be, pagalmā ir sešas meitenes. There are six girls in the yard. 
Let's submit the answer. Tada! We've done it right. However, if you missed it, you can click this button, Mēģināt vēlreiz, which means try again. But if you want to go to the next exercises, then you go over here and click Nākamais uzdevums. And we've got the next exercise. I hope you'll find this resource useful. Did you like this video? If you did, please show me thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Also, I'll be glad to receive your comments below or via email. You can subscribe to receive my email from my website. And I'll show you the link on the screen. But now I'll say bye-bye. Ata, till the next time.